Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'd We're saddened to hear, as is the case with our brothers and sisters suffering in Syria and our brothers and sisters suffering in Iraq and our brothers and sisters who suffer in Afghanistan and Pakistan and really all around the world that we see the Rafida, the Hothiyin raising their ugly heads again to terrorize and cause problems for Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah as they have demonstrated in the past by attacking Dar al Hadith and Damaj, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve it and bless those students of knowledge and, and, and ulama that are striving to adhere to Kitabi Allah wa Sunnatu Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah preserve them and guide them for any shortcomings in which we all have, as the Prophet ﷺ said, Kulu Adam Khayran that all the children of Adam make mistakes, and the best of those who sin are those who make Tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they repent to Allah. And during this blessed month of Ramadan, we don't want to forget our brothers, as it has just reached us that Shaykh Muhammad Ali Imam, Hafidhallahu Ta'ala, fi Dara Hadith fi Ma'bar, which is outside of the city of Sana, and also in Medina to Ib, that the Rafa the Shia Hothiyin, that they are attacking and causing problems for Ahl Sunnah, rebelling against the government, establishing checkpoints based upon their desires, based upon their wickedness, based upon their desire to spread fitna in the land, with the support, of course, of Iran and those people who give them the money and give them the weapons. So don't be deceived and think that this small group this tribe which has very little resources and Yemen being the poorest the poorest Arab country in the world that these people would not have run out of resources by now and especially with the ongoing uh, problems that Yemen faces so these people are being supported by who Ahlul Ruafid the people uh, the Shia of Iran may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliate them and give them guidance to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or give them their just reward. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them their just reward, which is being the dogs of the hellfire, like the Khawarij. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about Ahla Dalal, the people of misguidance, which is perfectly uh, applicable to these people and their wickedness in the facade they spread through the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem فَمَادَ بَعْدَ الْحَقِّ إِلَّا الضَّلَالِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says so what so after the truth or what is there after the truth except misguidance so it shows us we should not be surprised by this but it's sad that it's the holy month of Ramadan people are raising their hands to Allah trying to come back to Allah and these people want bloodshed وَعِيَادَ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلَكَ and may Allah bless may Allah grant them the bloodshed but let it be from only their people Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen Wa qala ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem Inna ladheena farraku deenuhum Wa kana shi'an lasta minhum fi shayt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Verily those who divide their religion into groups Into shi'a That th th there's, nothing, they, they, there's nothing to them They have no substance Lasta minhum fi shayt And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem وَمَنْ أَضَلَّ مِمَّنْ مِمَّنْ تَبَعَ هَوَاهُ بِغَيْرِ هُدَى مِنَ اللَّهِ And who is more misguided than the ones who follow their desires after receiving guidance from Allah? And this is the case with the Shia. Is that they have, they know the Qur'an exists, but they believe that the Qur'an has uh, been altered. And they accuse and curse and make takfir of most of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, who were the people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to be companions of Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they're the people who carried the deen, they're the people who helped preserve the, the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they're the people who held fast to the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold on all of you uh, to the rope of Allah, and do not divide. But they didn't listen, and they divide. So this is a lesson for us to never trust these people 
No matter whether they be in America, no matter whether they be in Canada, no matter whether they be in the UK or Yemen or wherever they may be, that they ha they want no good. And this is in the history of Islam that they have attacked Ahl Islam and attacked and sold out and attacked Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, as is the case with what's going on now in Yemen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve the Shaykh and preserve the students of knowledge and preserve all of those the preserve the Muslims everywhere and protect the Muslims, especially this holy month of Ramadan. So make dua for your brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem about those who follow their desires and those who follow those ayats which are ambiguous, which may have more than one meaning. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al kareem هو الذي أنزل عليك الكتاب منه آيات محكمات هن أم الكتاب وأخرى متشابهات فأما الذين في قلوبهم زيغ فيعتبئون ما تشابه من ابتغاء الفتنة وابتغاء تأويله وما يعلم تأويله إلا الله وراسخون في العلم يقولون آمنا به كل من عند ربنا وما وما يذكر إلا أول الألباب الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم about those who follow their uh, follow the ayats in the in the Quran that may have more than one meaning or have perhaps a more hidden meaning that these people make their whole religion based on those ayats and they leave the clear ayats which show the clear commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in rulings of the Sharia. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them it is he who has sent down to you the book in its verses that are entirely clear they are the foundations of the book and those are the verses of Al-Ahkam, the commandments, and the Fara'i, the obligatory duties, and the Hadood, the laws for punishment, and so forth. And others that are ambiguous, meaning they have more than one meaning. The ayats in the Quran that have more than one meaning. Or their meaning may not be entirely clear, except, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, so as for those whose heart, there is a deviation from the truth. They follow that which is not entirely clear thereof, seeking al-fitna polytheism and trials and seeking for its hidden meanings but none knows its hidden meanings except Allah and those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say we believe in it the whole of it uh, and the whole of it is from our Lord and none receive admonition except men of understanding so this lets us know the Ahl Sunnah the Haq is with Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bid'ah and Ahl Dalal are the people who follow the Shubahat and the and the and the and the ayat mutashabiha. And those people are people who will never cease to try to cause harm to Ahl Sunnah. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when this ayat uh when when Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha asked about this ayat this ayat, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Fi either raita ladina yet tabiuna ma tashabaha ma tashabha ma tashabaha minhu fa ulaika ladina sama Allah Bahdaruhum. The Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wasalam said about this ayat, he said, so if you see those who follow those ambiguous verses, then know that those are the people Allah mentioned, so beware of them. So this also brings up another point, is that our brothers and sisters from Ahl Sunnah, or our brothers and sisters, even if they have their shortcomings and their or perhaps they've fallen into a, some aspects of bid'ah that they need to make toba when they make allegiance and alliance with the Rafidah, with the Shia and say that they're our brothers and say that they oh, we're, we're all Muslim and say that we should all get along and we should all pray together and we should all love one another how could that possibly be when these people take shed your blood? How can this possibly be when these people say the Quran is, is not the speech of Allah? How can this possibly be when these people curse the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and accuse Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, the mother of the believers, of being an adulteress. وَعِيَادٌ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلَكَ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala change their faces and humiliate them in the dirt and allow for us to use their heads as rocks to walk on. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. So I'm exhorting my brothers and sisters of Ahl Sunnah to not cause violence, abedin. No, that's not what we're saying. But to pray 
and to supplicate during this these times of Ramadan and in the night supplicate for your brothers and sisters that they be protected from these people and that Allah humiliates these people and turns their their plans against Ahlul Sunnah against them and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad